Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Wednesday, January 18th, 2012. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right into the charts. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures this morning. You'll see they are trading higher by about $3 at the moment, right to around $12.92 and a quarter. Uh, decent little move. Futures were higher this morning. They have pulled back a little bit. But nonetheless, they are still positive by about three points this morning. There's a few things going on, uh, mostly out of Europe for the most part. Uh, there's also some comments coming out of the IMF today saying they're um, going to consider boosting its lending operations by about $500 billion uh, to really to put that number around $1 trillion in total. So there's um, some pretty big news that obviously caused a spike this morning. However, uh, since the news report has been released, you see the market has pulled back a little bit, but nonetheless, um, the IMF is boosting its um, lending operation by $500 billion. Where are they getting this money? I have no idea, but that's uh, for another subject on another day. In any case, uh, the headline news did lift the market. You see that big, big spike this morning, and now you see the market pulling back ever so slightly. But nonetheless, markets are still positive by about three points this morning ahead of the opening bell. Um, there looks to be um, some more data released, I guess, out of the UK today. It looks like unemployment, the unemployment rate rose a little bit over there, reaching a 17-year high. Um, so there are some definite problems in Europe, not so much with the Eurozone. Uh, on a positive note, it looks like Portugal sold um, some, some Treasury bills this morning, and it looks like uh, yields went down, and um, that's always a positive. We can only wonder, though, how much... Uh, was bought up by the ECB. So that's the other clincher there. But in any case, markets are holding steady and they're looking okay. There's really not a lot to say uh, regarding, uh, you know, downside action. Every day the market seems to rally and, um, you know, we'll take that for what it is at the moment. Okay, a couple of things to look over though. First, uh, let's take a look at uh, oil this morning. Here's the, the USO. You'll see USO is trading right around that $39.15 level, so a little pop there in the USO. It closed at $38.80 uh, yesterday afternoon, so a good little pop in oil. Spot crude is up about $0.90, cents, trading around the $101.60 level uh, per barrel. Down, that's on WTI, West Texas crude. So decent little move there uh, for oil this morning. Let's take a look at gold. Gold looks to be flat this morning, but the GLD is catching a little bit of a bid. GLD trading higher, trading right now, pulling back here, but trading still at uh, $160.62. GLD closed at $160.50 yesterday afternoon. So um, gold is basically flat this morning, but nonetheless, uh, markets are holding steady ahead of the opening bell. Uh, let's talk about silver. Silver has had a wild ride this morning. You'll see the SLV big pop, then a pretty robust sell-off, and then another pop right back up. Right now, silver is trading at $29.39, uh, closed at $29.19. So a decent little uptick, nothing you know great, but some wild pre-market action in silver, and we'll see how that plays out. Let's take a look at a couple of other things here in this market. I have a list of stocks to go over this morning. The big news is Goldman Sachs. Goldman reported earnings this morning. Stock is trading around $99.35. There is a ton of resistance for Goldman around 102, 102.50. So very, very good resistance there. But nonetheless, stock is trading right around $99.40 at the moment. Uh, closed yesterday at $97.68. So it's up ticking a little bit um, from yesterday's close. Decent little move. The earnings, you know, lost on one end, beat on another. Uh, revenue is down. I, I couldn't even tell you, but I don't even care about the earnings. What I care about is the price action. All I could tell you is if the stock does rally today by some chance, there is a ton of resistance around the 102.32 level, 102.40 level. So watch that if it gets up there. If it doesn't, then we'll have to watch for pattern intraday and see how it trades from here. But nonetheless, Goldman Sachs is uh, getting a little bit of a bid. Nothing tremendous or nothing to write home about, I should say. But nonetheless, the stock is uh, up a little bit from yesterday's close, and they did report earnings this morning. We will have at 8.30, which is in another five minutes, um, I believe the producer price index will be released for the month of December. So that could be a, a little bit of a market mover. We'll have to see how that goes. Um, but right now, um, Goldman is really the focus. Let's take a look at a couple of other stocks. Research in Motion was up yesterday on a rumor that they're going to get bought out by Samsung. 
I have no idea what the rumor really, if it's true or not. But all I'll tell you is this, that options expiration is Friday. You'll get a lot of rumors going forward and a lot of different names into Friday's expiration. So just be prepared for that. Um, you never know what's going to happen during the week of options expiration. So monthly expiration is going to expire on Friday. And you'll get a lot of whipsaw and a lot of rumors released uh, going into that Friday expiration. I assure you that much. So be careful. Take all that stuff with a grain of salt. And um, whether it's true or it's not, I have no idea. But uh, all I can tell you is that um, Research in Motion yesterday hit a very, very good resistance level uh, right around the, the 17 75 uh, $18 level, and that's what I told our subscribers yesterday in the chat room. So again, um, just watch for a lot of game playing, especially on stocks like Research in Motion, Netflix, Apple, Google, um, Amazon. Uh, you know, big, those big household names uh, will get a lot of uh, a, a lot of rumor mill uh, spin will come out during the week of options expiration. Let's take a look at Yahoo. Looks like uh, Jerry Yang, co-founder, is resigning. Um, the stock is up a little bit. I don't want to make too much out of Yahoo. It, it's kind of in a trading range. Um, but the, again, the stock is up a little bit, trading around $15.90 at the moment. But um, I don't think there's a whole lot of upside from here. But either way, the stock's up just a little bit. Not a big deal. Let's take a look at Cree this morning. Cree was down about a buck. I don't want to make a big deal out of Cree uh, either. The stock is going to be one of those uh, stocks that chop around due to options expiration. Closed at 23.33 yesterday. It's trading at 22.38. Uh, we'll see exactly how this thing settles in. But Cree is trading down about a dollar. Has rebounded a little bit. Uh, again, there's nothing much on that pattern there uh, to, to make any decisive move on Cree. Uh, let's take a look at um, Linear. LLTC is the ticker symbol. Stock is having a very, very nice move this morning. Looks like a pretty decent gap up. Uh, you got to watch the $33.10 level. That's going to be pretty good resistance if it does get up there. Uh, so watch that level if it gets up there. Stock could get a pullback there. It's also extended at these levels, so you, you don't want to be a buyer up here and chasing this stock, okay? Let it pull back, settle in over the next few days if you're looking to own it. But uh, Linear Technologies, watch $33.10. Looks like there's pretty good resistance in that area. Okay, uh, let's take a look at this ZL, uh, I believe it's ZLTQ. I'm not sure of the news, but I did see that the stock was up big this morning. Here it is. Um, <clears throat> you're getting a nice little pop there. Uh, this stock, believe it or not, it, it has a little bit of resistance. I'm going to say right around this 1265 level. And then really it's all the way up to 1375. So the stock does have a little bit more upside potential uh, on this uh, Zeltic uh I'm not even sure of the name of this company, but just watch the 1375 level over the next few days. If it gets up there, that will be a major resistance point for the stock. Okay, this is a new issue, uh, really debuted, uh, I guess, in October 2011. So there's not a whole lot of data to go off of, but I could tell you that 1375 should be major resistance on the stock if it does get up there. And now that's a long way to go from here. So I'm not sure it does that anytime soon, but if it does it over the next couple of days, you want to watch for that. Okay, let's take a look at this UEPS. This stock has had a tremendous move this morning. Um, overdone, overcooked. I'm not sure what the news is. I think they got awarded a contract or something, but either way, um, do not be a buyer up here. This is just overdone. Stock's got to pull back to around the $8 level, maybe $8.25 uh, to make it even interesting, but do not be a buyer uh, up at this level, $10. It's just overblown. Yesterday, the stock closed at $6.72. Today, it's trading you know, right around 10 bucks, pulling back a little bit. But do not chase this thing. This thing needs to come back in. Okay? Uh, I think that's pretty much everything that I'm seeing here. Uh, we'll watch and see how these financials trade today. Yesterday, they were the weak segment of the market. And um, today, we'll see if they do rebound a little bit. Uh, but once again, market is trading up about three and a half, four points now. Uh, you do have the producer price index coming out. And it uh, looks like producer price index is down one-tenth of one percent for the month of December versus up three-tenths of one percent for November. Uh, not market really not making a big reaction or a big splash about this number. But once again, we're, we're just hovering positive on the futures by about three, three and a half points at the moment. So we'll leave it there at that. I don't want to make too much more out of this. 
Uh, we'll see how the day goes. And once again, light volume has been light. So you, once, when you see that light volume, give the market that slight upside bias. And that's, that's all we could do at the moment in this environment. Okay. With that said, everybody, have a great trading day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Take care now.